The fact that I don't get credit for starting a raspy voice in this drill shit is really amazing to me. I guess the Bronx started it. I just don't respect that y'all don't pay homage like we not all from New York. I just don't respect the fact that y'all don't pay homage like we are. We from New York. This nigga, this nigga sound like a crybaby or something, dog. Like, Max the Demon, get another flow, dog. In my opinion, Freshy started the whole Batman flow. Not you. UG's took it, made it right, blew it up. Now he's the big dog with that flow. Everybody knows that as UG's flow because he made it, he did it the best. It's not about who did it first, it's about who did it the best. And since you're so great at making new flows and making music and stuff like that, go make another one. Instead of crying on Instagram and all that kind of stuff about people taking your flows, look at the positive side of it, dog. If a nigga seen your flow and thought it was good enough to take, that means you're creative. That means you could do it again. That means that they seen some kind of talent into you that they wanted to damn near copy that shit, dog. If you did start it. If you did start it, it was worth people taking and copying your shit, dog. Now, I'm tired of rappers going on rants about what they started and created Rappers usually do that after they kind of fall off, but these dudes are not even on yet, and they're talking about what they created, dog. Just go make another flow. Just go do it again. Music changes every six months. It changes every year, man. Go do that shit. Now, message to all rappers in general. Stop ranting online about what you started. It, 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 just put out the music. And if you are going to rant for attention, have some music lined up, ready to go. It's called a rollout, dog. It's the same reason why... Kanye is going on all these crazy rants and saying all this kind of stuff. He has something coming out. At least do it that way to where it can benefit your pockets. So we're going to sound like a crybaby about what you started, man. It ain't hard to start the raspy flow. You ain't the first nigga to do it. A lot of niggas came with that wave, even from the 90s to 2000s. If you feel like you started it, you might have bought it back in a whole drill wave or whatever. But what's the point of even saying that, man? What's the point of even saying that? Look at this as an opportunity to get in the studio and just make some whole new shit, dog. Because if you get in that studio and you make a whole different sound for the New York drill, you're, you're going to blow up. Or you're going to be the big dog in New York, at least. If you make some hot shit that, that don't sound like nothing else, this is your opportunity, my nigga. Because all these other rappers sound alike. They all sampling. They all talking about the same shit. They using the same kind of flows. This is your opportunity. Digital thugs, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. You get lemons, make some lemonade, look at the positive of it, look at the opportunity in anything, because it's always an opportunity. If a nigga steal your shit, that's an opportunity to come up with some new shit.